My name is Gabe, and welcome to Self-Reflection, the show where I turn things away from media and stories and talk about me, facets of my personality. Whether you find these interesting or utterly lame, that's entirely up to you. So, today I want to talk about my preferred way to discover media. I realize is a rather strange topic. In all honesty, I'm struggling to come up with some stuff to talk about sometimes. So, let me ask you a question. How do you find the media you consume? Maybe you've seen a commercial for it, or maybe you got a recommendation from a friend, or just looked at reviews or have reviewers or such you follow. All valid options, of course. But maybe you picked a random DVD off the shelf, or a random book, or a random game, or whatever media you consume. That is what I do. I think finding something you have no expectation of being good and having it actually be good is a way better experience for me personally than going to something I know I'm going to enjoy and, and you know, like it. Don't get me wrong, I will still watch highly reviewed stuff I'm interested in. But when it comes to my preferred way to discover media, it's through random chance. It's why I love the library so much. Every book I've reviewed on this channel I've gotten from the library without doing any prior research. And well, a good chunk of them, or well, you can look at the vast majority of the video of book reviews I've got on this channel. Not all of them are good, let's just put it that way. Every once in a while I discover a scent keeper, or the book I'm currently reading right now. Of which the review will be coming out soon, and I guess I spoil it, it's going to be a positive one. But the point is... When you find a book or a movie or whatever that is actually turned out to be really good, then wow, you, it's amazing. It's it's fun. Now I do it with books for the library. I also often do it when I have the time through streaming on Netflix. It's rather simple. There'll be a series or movie that catches my attention. I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll watch it, and I'll just browse. Sometimes I'll watch horrible trash. <laughs> A lot of stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I watched this. One of my favorite space TV series of all time were discovered that way. Uh, it was on Netflix, at least in Canada, a while ago. I don't know if it still is. It's called Dark Matter, and it is actually really good, and I highly recommend it. But I am not currently reviewing it, so we'll save that for some potential future day. But, of course... There's a limitation to viewing media this way. One rather pesky one. This baby right here. If you can't see, this is my wallet. You see, and this is why I don't really, even though I do it with movies, TV shows, and books, I don't really do it with video games. Rather simply put, how to put it delicately, they're expensive, and there's not, like, one consolidated place to get them. Way back in the day there was, there ain't anymore. So, unfortunately, I have to actually think smart when it comes to buying video games. Because if I just bought every random little video game that caught my attention... Well, I'd be broke. <laughs> but... If I only bought random, unknown video games, well, there's a good chance I'd be bored because I would find something that isn't fun, and, well, I can't go keep buying video games. So, ultimately, I have to rely on reviews and stuff for video games. Though, so every once in a while, I'll splurge on a game that just caught my interest personally. And I've often been so happy with it or disappointed. <laughs> but there is a facet in game where I can do this games with level builders, or any type of creative content. Your Mario Makers, your Little Big Planets, your Dream. Uh, games like this that allow me to just browse other people's creations, well, 
they allow me to have that experience in gaming. Which is just kind of amazing. Hard, highly recommend doing that for video games. Now, I do believe that this is a way to enjoy media that is way more enjoyable than any other method. But, you may disagree, of course. But I highly encourage you at least try it, especially if you have a local library near you. You'll find libraries will often have DVDs and sometimes even video games. And of course, a lot of books to try out. Totally worth a try. A lot of the anime that I've reviewed, that I've talked about on this channel, a few times I have talked about anime, and anime I tend to talk about sometime in the future, were, were discovered by, well, picking one at random. Quite literally. And there are a lot of good shows I've discovered that way. If you remember my Kakameki Valrave, Valrave review, well, that's how I discovered that series. What was the point of this video? Honestly, just to fill airspace. But uh, hopefully you learned something about me. If you liked the video, though, leave a like. If you want to see more like it, learn more about me, do subscribe. But more importantly than anything else, have a good night.